Welcome to Ecom Ranks. Are you looking to customize the Prestige theme using Shopify platform? Okay, then you are at right video. In this video, I will uh, guide you uh, on how you are able to customize or design your website using Prestige Shopify theme. Okay, so to customize Prestige Shopify theme, let's start our video. Okay, so in this page, I have uploaded fresh copy of the Prestige theme. Then we need to click on the customize button. Okay, so now it's a fresh copy of theme has been uh, uploaded and it is showing empty sections. So let's start our video. I will delete some of the section and add some of the new sections to make according to my website. Okay, so first we see the pop up. Uh, just forget it for now. I will let you know uh, about it. Uh, at the end of the video and for the sidebar menu I don't have uh, this is the sidebar menu you uh, I don't have a large niche account uh, actually this is fitness store so I have only six to seven products so th that can be adjusted within the main menu and uh, if you have if you want to add the side menu and if you have a products around 500 to 600 then it will be good to add the side menu uh, otherwise just add the main menu just like I have added here okay click on the back button for the announcement sec uh, announce something here here is the section for it okay click on it and uh, for the text I have to add this text I, I have already written it okay so just copy it and paste it over here so free shipping uh, hour dollar 50 plus free returns you can add your offers according to your requirements for the background color i will use this background color okay so let me set this color okay so now it's good for the text i just use the white color text okay so click on the back button and hit the save okay so to check the mobile version of your website you have to click on this icon and then select mobile okay so now it's your website version of uh, view in mobile and that's that's the desktop window okay so now the another section is called the header this is the header section let's customize it simply click on it and uh, I uh, I don't want to use the sticky header so, so you can untick this option basically the sticky header means that when I scroll my web page the header is moving downward uh, along with me so I don't need it because it covers 20% of the, my web page uh, space so just uh, remove it, remove this feature and for the logo I will add my logo over here and to increase its width you can increase it accordingly okay so okay the one thing i want to tell let you know that the uh, i want to remove this uh, transparent header okay so just like here just untick it this is the transparent header uh, you can check it here over here when i move my mouse from here it's uh, get transparent so to disable it simply untick this option now it's get disabled okay if you want to use the transparent uh, header simply tick on this icon and then add your logo over here okay so the next section is slideshow section let's add the image related to my niche so firstly I will add this image okay so for the mobile uh, image i have to select this same image i have downloaded this image from unsplash.com it's a copyright free image you can download uh, your images according to your requirements i will uh, drop the link of the free copyrighted uh, content websites 
in the description section so that you can download from here okay so from here I just write fitness and there are a lot of photos that gets open you it's free to use you can use it according to your requirements on your website okay so this is the mobile view of the website okay the banner is quite large on the mobile for this you need to scroll down click on the back button and untick this option show full screen images okay so now this slider image is quite good okay okay from here we need to add the second slider image select this image no I don't want to I want to add this image okay add this image for the mobile window and go back delete this another slider so I have two slider images okay now uh, we have to add the text over here I will simply write fitness store or simply you can write that welcome gym rat then this is my website name and for the button one I will add the shop now and it will take my customers to all products okay so it's looking good similarly I will add the text to my another slider image okay basically I have uh, applied the overlay on the image it uh, will make the text appear more uh, it will make the text more visible so in the heading section I will write fitness featured fitness products shop now and its link will lead towards the all products page okay so from here you are able to set the, this content position I will set it to the middle center position okay so now it's looking good hit the save button okay now go back okay so now this is the collection uh, section I would assign I would love to assign one of my collection I have added all of my products in home page collection so simply add it and for the heading we can set it featured products okay and I want to show only eight products with view all products button okay so now it's looking good click on the back button Or simply you can write trending fitness products of the week you can set it this option according to your choice okay go back and hit the save button okay this is the parallax section of the plastic theme simply click on it and then we have to add the image I will assign this image and for the trending jewelry I will just write my store name gym rat den okay 
for this text i have already written my text according to my brand so i will just copy it and paste it here okay so it's quite good now we have set the announcement section the header section the slideshow section and the featured product section and we have set this parallax section okay for this button link i will just add a link to all of my products you can assign a link to the collection page or your contact us page or anything that you need okay so let's scroll down for this section i don't need this section for now so simply remove it for the collection list i don't need it because i have only have one collection for the staff picks of the picks of the week section i also remove this section because i have only one collection and i don't need it i don't need the testimonial section okay for the newsletter section it's an important section i would just set this as the background image okay so it's looking good so let's get started to add as uh, another section i would like to add the featured product section on my home page okay from this we need to click on the featured products and add it and then i would like to assign this color coded push up board okay for the heading you can write it according to your choice product of the week okay if you want to show the description you can set it description below add to cart button show dynamic checkout button and if you don't want to show the description just like me uh, simply untick this option okay so now it's looking good let's move it up to the newsletter section okay so now it's looking really good let's set over the footer section okay so now let's customize the footer section and in the footer section i would like to add uh, two links okay so add the menu customer support over here uh, if you don't have the menu you can simply create it from here simply click on the create menu and add your menu items and uh, for the customer support i have already created it so i have added it easily simply move it to the top and for the our services section and uh, you can write it according to your brand Okay, so I have written it down according to my brand. Okay, so to make the color adjustments, we have to click on this theme settings and then we need to click on the colors. Okay, so from here we have to set the button color. So I will simply add my color code. This is my brand color code. I will add it here and for the header section I will make it the same for the footer section I would love to set this the background color okay for the heading section let's set it to the black color and for the text make it white color okay so now it's looking good and for the secondary items i would love to set my branding color okay so all of by setting this color options my theme is looking good and according to my brand okay hit the save button and from here you are able to change the fonts according to your choice i have set it according to my brand so simply go back and from here you are able to add the icon i will add it according to my brand so this basically this icon will appear just like here you see that the youtube icon okay and it's the slack icon the notepad icon and when customers open my uh, open up my website 
this icon will, will be shown on the browser tab so this is the fave icon and for the checkout i will not add any background image i will just add my logo and change the colors essence and the button colors to orange color okay so for the animation in the prestige theme simply click all this option that will be more professional and to set the uh, product page simply click on the product page okay when the product page will get open i would love to add the add to cart button at top for this we need to click on this and then enable this option now add to cart button is show will, will be shown at the top and show inventory quantity no i don't want to show it and i just want to add this buy it now button it's professional okay so for the reviews you need to install the app and then click on the enable reviews okay go back and for the related product section simply click on the show section and hit the save button let us check the contact us page okay the contact us page is also looking professional already and let us check the collection page okay the collection page is also fine okay so this is the quick tutorial on how you are able to customize the prestige shopify theme if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell icon and if you have any question or want to add any section uh, within your theme you can simply message me on fiverr thanks for watching